It's loser's semis? I think this might be loser's. Yeah, this is loser's semis, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, there it is. Okay, it, it appeared on the screen to help us out. Winner of this will go on to face ZD, which will be a rematch for actually neither of them. Neither of them have fought ZD yet. Uh, so, right now, potentially an MDVA loser's finals. We'll have to see here. Riddles is going to be quite the obstacle for Puppe, especially with his Kazuya. This character might be a little bit new, but Riddles makes it look like he has been a tech in the pro. I mean, Riddles, just the FGC master, used to be a Belmont main back in the day, but I don't think anyone quite remembers that Riddles as this one's been going absolutely insane, but this one's also going into the blast zone as Puppe gets the double up air. And now off to a great start here in Losers Semis. Remember, chat, this is a best of three yet again, so very, oh, nope, maybe semis not. Semis are five. Never mind, I was lying. <laughs> Trying to go ahead and use that reflector, it looked like was Riddle just trying to position himself around Ivysaur's Razor Leap. Tether snap, swap there for Charizard. And then the air dodge and Riddle's charging that up smash beats out Pape's defensive tool. Comes back in, gets the combo, the down or the dare onto the platform, but a good use of the shield from Pape to escape. Well, might have been certain death, but these grabs from Riddles, he's always seems to be like in the right position to capitalize on Kazuya's grab, but speaking of capitalization, Puppe, 0 to 80% in seemingly 0 seconds. Now hitting the back air into the Razor Leaf, but missing that grab, allowing Riddles to get a jab to claim some stage control. There you do see one of the weaknesses of Kazuya, though. Look at his run speed, just so awful. Does manage to grab with that side B. He's got Rage on deck, so let's see what he can do with that. Absolutely Whoa. nothing. Puppe swap into back air. Zard having none of your business, <laughs> and then immediately just off of the Angel platform, swinging his riddles. He's immediately murdered right off the Angel platform. And I mean, that's kind of what you have to do, uh, especially as a character with as much kill power as Kazuya. Coming right off the Angel platform and swinging is, is fantastic. And speaking of swinging, Riddles doing a ridiculous amount of damage. Tries for the side B, but gets grabbed out of it by Puppe. Gets the back throw, looking for the bear. Goes really deep, looking for the Nair to kill. But Riddles, playing avoidance, gets back up on stage. Gets caught by the, the neutral B as well, the flame breath. Okay, Whoa, Puppe. Okay, Puppe. Puppe. This man wants to go home right now. He's, he's had enough of this. Game over. Dude, you got at least three more games. And then maybe Grands, too. Or maybe Losers Finals, maybe Grands. But the F-Tilt gets him one step closer to that. And again, it feels like the Zard is the difference maker. Squirtle did a fairly minimal job right there. It felt like whenever Kazuya got one hit, he was able to carry it so much damage against that light character that it really dissuaded Puppe from staying with and trusting his Squirtle. It felt like Ivysaur had a couple of good conversions, and it felt like Zard was very strong in that matchup. I'd also like to point out that, that was like a two and a half minute game. Oh yeah, they scrapping. They, they scrapping. They were both swinging real hard from the get go. I guess you kind of have to in this matchup. Now, this time, Riddle's playing a little bit farther back in the early days, does not want to open up his match getting Squirtle comboed, and after seeing what that leads to, I can understand it. Let's copy the up air, though, no follow-up. Riddle's charging back in. He needs, he's trying to get his first hit in. Let's start something off. Exactly, he just wants one of those combo starters. This is a character where it has a little bit of difficulty getting that first hit, doesn't necessarily have a ton of like ultra safe pressure that also leads into combos. But the minute that you get like either the Electric God Fist or any of the uh, nonsense moves that this character has, it's just, it's just a go button. Go ahead and hit whatever you want. But right there, oh. Puppe showing off what safe platform pressure looks like. Absolutely immaculate right there was. Time for some more. Ivysaur. Gets more up airs in, 44% onto Riddles, and Puppe looks like he might have this match up figured out, just using the disjoints that Ivysaur has at their disposal to say, hey, you can kill me off one interaction, what if I just don't interact? It just feels like Riddles doesn't really have the best tools at disadvantage. Oh, a switch into the immediate fly from Charizard to try and take that stock out, but because it doesn't do that, that means he gets to eat another bear. Lucky Riddles. Yeah, this is just, this looks really grim right here. We've seen Riddles make three stop comebacks before. And this is the character to do it again, but no, swapping immediately away from the Squirtle. Brutal, brutal pickup, brutal combo here. 62% into the up air. Tries for the up smash there, not able to do so successfully. So Riddles at least gets a little bit of ground. 
Trying to regain it, but the tech chase flare blitz. It's not gonna kill, but what a message for him to be sending and what a message for him to close out game number two with the spike. Yo, just in case you didn't catch it. That's what that was. That was a, I went ahead and got you with the flare blitz tech chase and you still have the temerity not to die and give me this Twitch clip. Just in case you thought you were going to get away with this, I'm going to spike you for You're it. You're still going to Twitter. Ending the game with an exclamation point is puppe. There's no escaping going to Twitter. It's just not an option. <laughs> this puppe makes this look very grim for Riddle. He's trying to figure something out. Maybe Kazi is not the choice. We see him deliberating here on the character select screen. No. Running it right back. Has faith. Going to Smashville. I like this stage choice. Oh, but I don't like getting dared to start off the match. Does manage to escape the string that Squirtle can typically get from that. But Pape can kind of carry you off the entire stage with these horizontal combos that Squirtle has. And then Ivysaur can do tons of platform drop nonsense or just get the down air. After the down smash after that, that was kind of a strange option. Uh, but it, right now, Riddles is at least making it pay off as he gets the... I think that's an F-Tilt. I still that don't was. know all of Kazuya's moves, to be honest with you. Dog, this character's going to make commentators look foolish for like another month and a half. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> Chase with the dare onto the platform into another grab, and he's going to go for the up B. It's not going to kill, but something has changed. A switch has flipped inside of Riddles, and he is absolutely dominating here. Gets the back air and is trying to chase with it, too even doing a little bit of that wave dashing tech and the up smash going to close he's out hit, the stop. He's hitting us all with the, and now he shall try moment. And now he will try. <laughs> Already 34% backing off and still maintaining Rage's riddles. So we could see an early kill. He gets the crumple. Oh no! And then he takes the stock. Puppe, can he fly up? No, no. just too far gone was Puppe. Riddles, what a win! And how fast was that match last? I wasn't even paying attention to the timer, honestly, because I knew it didn't matter. Under two Under minutes. Under two minutes. Good God. Because Riddles is just absolutely insane. I'd said the switch has been flipped, but that might have been a little bit of an understatement. Coming off of losing game two in a two-stock, he JV3s Puppe. And now, Puppe's on notice. Thought you were going to walk that one in, did you? <laughs> Thought you <laughs> had it. Was. Thought you got to go fight your boy ZD. Losers finals. No, it looks like they ran it to the wrong stage. I'm just going to ask you real quick. Chat, don't you dare say it. I know what you're thinking. Don't you dare. So we almost saw, or excuse me, we, we almost saw Riddles complete a reverse 3-0, or a reverse comeback with a three-stock comeback to finish his last set in winners. Is he actually going to be able to pull that off here in losers when everything's on the line? That remains to be seen. I think it's really going to come down to how the first stock of this game is played. I because see you. I see. But first of all, I got to talk about Twitch chat. Yes. Does that count as a three stock? No, JV3. That's what that is. That's, it's a JV3 because he was at 0% when he took the third stock. Dead on. JV. It's a JV3. Three, two, one, go. Oh, this, was there a problem with the tag then? So it looks like we are going to the stage, but perhaps there was an issue with controls or a tag because... Uh, or maybe it was just the... No, yeah, Riddle's going shirtless. Riddle's going shirtless. Oh, okay. It's the, it's the uh, which call it? Swapping skins, it's the yes, power-up. The new drip power-up. But what I was saying uh, a second ago is, I think this game is going to entirely depend on who takes the first stock, because that's how the last three games have also gone. Whoever takes the first stock is just absolutely dominant for the rest of the course of the game. Riddle's a little bit of a dangerous situation, but getting the ledge grab invincibility to get away from the flare blitz now has the rage. And that should be the stock. No. no, good DI from Puppe. Good DI and a heavy character. That was Ivysaur. Could very well have been, though. Oh, that's the stock. That, I, I'm going to call that the spinny spinny combo. <laughs> Gets the grab into the up tilt on platform. Now chasing, but the up air from Puppe trying to chase with it. Not going to get the kill yet. And Riddles building up more extra credit. If my prediction holds true, Riddles has already won this, but Puppe, not out of it yet, gets the up smash. A little bit of a shield poke there, it looked like in between the two hits, so now this is going to be a vital stock for Puppe. He gets, it looks like he had just the slightest of tech flubs, he missed the dash in between that down air, so he did not get those down air loops from Squirtle, and he's gonna pay for it, good God. That was, I think that was fair land turnaround bear. 
And it killed so early on Charizard, to I, no less. I also think it might have been a bit of a DI mix-up, because I certainly wasn't expecting it, so maybe Puppe wasn't either. So he just wasn't ready to DI that correctly and died as a result. But now Riddles, what a chase, 56% and continuing. Well, it looks like we're going game five. The damage output for this character just so insane. Good God. Why does he get to do this? Who said it was okay? He doesn't get to hit a lot of buttons, but the buttons that he does get to hit, they hurt. And I, speaking of hurt, Puppe going to get that grab, throw, kill combo, but Riddles, oh, he tried for it, but the Pokemon swap is going to save Puppe's life then and there. This is a high wire act, immediately swaps off of the Squirtle. Puppe getting a long no. oh, bear no. string. The air dodge not quite going to get called out. Gets the stun into the up B, and that'll do it. Riddles breaks out of Puppe's combo and claims the W. We are headed to a game five. It was looking like Puppe might have been able to steal it, might have been able to close it out, might have been able to prevent the game five. Had the back air string very nearly followed it up with the dare, but Riddles' air dodge back to stage managed to keep him alive, and then he just did a Kazuya thing, you know? This character, man. Oh my lord. It feels like... I, I can't... I genuinely don't know what change up Riddles has thrown to just make these matches go from Puppe seemingly having complete dominance. He's playing way more patient. That's what it is. He's waiting for Puppe to be the, the aggressor and then punishing him super hard for it. It's, it's, a, it's an entirely mental switch. But Riddles is just, you know, he flipped the switch and now he's absolutely dominating. A poor start this time though, but he very quickly makes up the distance. Gets the grab. Good, Good match, match from Puppe. The up air missing. These triplats oh, could no. make a big play here. Yeah, I was just going to mention that this gives Riddles access to the top platform stun into up B, and he makes judicious use of that right there. But now Puppe trying to go ahead and shark himself with a couple up throws. Whoa. He got the down air, but not the hitbox that he needed. Instead, Riddles has rage and positioning. I just noticed for the first time as he gets that up 40 throw. 40%, by the way. 40%, by the way. It's fair. Uh, I just noticed the, the sound that it makes when the rage... <gasps> What? Are no. You doing riddles? No. No, sir. Someone DQ him. That's not fair. This man playing with a turbo controller. <laughs> this looks just so insane. Buffet just didn't seem to have an answer right there in that situation. I, I wouldn't have an answer either. What? I what is the answer to it? Please tell me. I need to know. <laughs> I think a few people tomorrow. We're gonna leave it to them to figure it out. Yeah. I. There's only a couple people I trust with Gets this. Get the crumple. Is this gonna? He gets no the tech chase to the top platform, but Puppe kind of just slides off, gets himself out of dodge. Riddles he doesn't. with the hardest comeback of all time, potentially. No, not going to get the three stock, as the up throw will easily secure that on top lap, but we are going 86% on Squirtle. This is he's dead. a dangerous like he's, proposition. He's dead at one good combo. That's what he has to be super careful with, having the Squirtle out. Riddles holding shield very confidently, gets the up, uh, up smash bear, closes it out. The, not only the reverse 3-0, but nearly a JB3 stock in the final game. That was a phenomenal show by Riddles, showing us exactly why Kazuya is a character to be feared. If you think you have a lead, if you think you have a couple games up, it's just because he's taking the time to learn, to dissect, to pick you apart piece by piece. Listen, when Kazuya first came out, 